Hello, my lovely Libras. This is Debs and this is your TGIF weekly reading for Friday, the 24th of March, 2023. Libra, I do hope you're well. Thank you so much for being here and I hope you're enjoying these readings. I'm doing these individually, as you would have figured out by now, rather than by element. So let me know in the comments. Now, Libra, I feel as if somebody's kind of doing a U-turn. They're wanting to talk to you about patching up a very fragile foundation. I think there were words between you and this person. Um, it could be a very awkward situation, but they do want to talk and I'm hearing to explain. I feel as if there's a lot of energy in this reading and it's interesting because it's the only video with a rather strange aura in terms of the lights are a little bit different in this recording, okay? Yeah, wow. And there's a dog barking outside. Did somebody say something unpleasant, barked at you, literally? Yeah. Okay. All right, Libra, without further ado, let's jump in. All right, here we go, guys. Using the Tarot of Mystical Moments, and we'll see what comes through, Libra. All right. Wow. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Somebody said something unpleasant. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF weekly reading for my Libras. This is Friday the 24th of March, moving into the weekend and a brand new week. What have we got for my Libras? Thank you, Michael. Okay. Libra, there's something about this person wanting to apologise almost immediately after, but you may have been so shocked Thank you, Michael, by what came through from them, by what they said. I'm feeling it was an email or a text. It's not in person that you may have just blocked them. And so they couldn't reach out to apologize. Yeah, this has been awkward. No. OK, wow. Yeah. All right, Michael. OK, it's been really awkward. It's as if they don't know what to do now because they can't reach you even to apologize. Yeah, this was really difficult, Libra, whatever this was. And totally uncalled for is what I'm hearing. All right, beautiful Libras, we've got a story in here for you. I'll be back in a moment. So Libra, we've got the three of wands. Now, Libra, I think this is your energy. I think you were waiting for your ship to come in with this person. You may have met them. You two may have had a really good time, but I feel as if they kind of not ghosted you, but they said, oh, yeah, we'll keep in touch or we had a great time. And you assumed it was going to move into a more serious connection. And it didn't. This person may have literally not been in touch with you, Libra, for months. And you may have thought to yourself, OK, three of wands. They're possibly in another situation with somebody else. I'm going to have to walk away from this. But you kind of felt a bit angry that they weren't even polite enough to tell you the truth, i.e., look, we had a great time, but that was that. So I'm sorry if you felt this was going to be moving into something more serious, but it wasn't. I should have told you before, but it was lovely to meet you, and I'm so sorry if I hurt you. Something to that effect. I think this person just left you. I think they said it was great to meet you, but that was it. And you may have felt a bit resentful because I think you waited for this person to come back to you to develop a relationship and they didn't. So I think you got on with your life, Libra. You move forward. You may have done very well in the business that you're in or the career that you're in. You decided to move forward into your own happiness. And with the Seven of Cups, you were very powerful in manifesting a really good life for yourself. Yeah, you may even have dated other people. With the Page of Wands, this is someone who actually, since they detached from you, has been spying on you. This is someone who watched you become very successful, watched you move forward with a lot of happiness. It could be that their ego was dented. Maybe they wanted you to run after them. But I think after a period of time, and I'm really feeling this was several months after you two met, they might have sent you a flirtatious message. 
hey, sexy, how are you doing? And I think it irritated you, Libra, because you felt this person had ghosted you and then they were kind of poking you to see if you were still interested in them when actually they made you upset. With the energy of the Hierophant, you may have wondered if this person was even married. Was this just a one night stand type of situation? Could have been a Taurus you were involved with or a Leo. With the energy of the magician, you wondered whether or not this is somebody who was simply trying to manifest you back into their life for an ongoing affair situation. With the Wheel of Fortune, you thought this person was literally being strategic. Maybe they wanted to move into a new cycle with you, but you felt there was something that they were hiding. So Libra, you may have sent a message back saying very bluntly, it's nice to hear from you, but I'm not that interested. I haven't heard from you for a while. It's quite a surprise that you're coming back to me. Um, I'm busy. <laughs> I don't think they liked it, Libra, because you didn't give them the response they wanted and they came back to you with a very unpleasant message. It might have been very sarcastic. Whatever this was kind of shook you. It's almost as if they slapped you around the face twice. First of all, they ghosted you. Second of all, you got a heavy dose of their ego and I think you just got annoyed. Yeah? So after that, I think you blocked them. But you may have blocked them just before they were going to come back to say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. But of course, they couldn't get through to you because you'd already blocked them. <laughs> Libra, I think this is somebody coming back. I think that they feel really bad for what they said. I don't know exactly what they said, Libra, but I don't think it was very pleasant. I think they were sat on their high horse. They could have just felt as if their nose was put out of joint. There was something to do with that. Um, I think you're over this. What you don't know is that they do want to come back to explain and potentially to say sorry. Okay. Sacred Forest, Denise Lynn. Archangel Michael, what do we have, please, for the situation for this reading? Thank you. All right. Okay, Libra, let's have a look at what we have for you. So here we have it, Libra. Patience. With a one and an eight, I think you waited and coasted and waited. I'm seeing the fog around this stalk. Now, stalks are all about new beginnings, okay? I think there was a lot of confusion about this person. First of all, they ghosted you, then they sent you this flirty message. And when you didn't respond in the way they wanted you to, they got unpleasant. They could have sent you a nasty message back. I think you gave up. I believe you felt messed around. And with the meandering pathway, you simply decided to move forward. We have a wizard here. We have a two and a four, which is six. You decided to follow your path of light and I think you manifested great things in your life by sitting in a place of balance and internal strength. You basically left this person behind. Now, I think during the time you two were apart, you actually created some kind of miracle. It could have related to your stability with a three and a one. I think you did really, really well. This could have been several months after this person was last in touch. They want to come back, okay? They want to come back to say, I'm so sorry for what I said. I'm willing to be flexible. I'm sorry if, if, if it was a little bit my way or no way. And they want to talk to you about a new beginning, okay? So Libra, this person is on the return. Now, if you block them, they're going to find some other way of communicating with you but they do want you to give them a second chance. Some of you are simply going to think to yourselves, absolutely not. There's no way I'm going to be spoken to like that. I'm not going to be messed around by this person. They simply feel as if they've lost an opportunity. 
So Libra, it may be for some of you, you turn your back. It may be for others of you, you decide to perhaps just hear them out. What have they got to say for themselves? Are they really going to apologise? Mm. We're moving into the Tarot de la Nuit. Here we go. Archangel Michael, what do we have for my beautiful Libras, please? This is Friday the 24th of March, 2023. Thank you, Michael. Moving into the weekend and a new week. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Okay. we got a story. I'm going to take them. Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands, Libra, could be you standing in your power. It could be, though, for some of you, in retrospect, believing you may have been the other woman. With the Four of Cups, this is you not interested in moving back into a connection with somebody if you are simply going to be an option. With the Seven of Cups, I think you're very confused as to what this person's true situation actually is. With the Ace of Swords, I think you decided to cut free of the situation and simply move on, thinking to yourself, this person just doesn't deserve me. With the Ten of Wands, there was a lot of stress, I think, that this person felt because they came at you with a heavy dose of their ego, Knight of Swords. I think because this might have been somebody very attractive, Libra, who wanted you to chase them. They may have got used to treating people badly, moving from one person to the next, and then being forgiven. You weren't going to sit in that energy, Libra. You had way too much self-respect. With the Ten of Swords, this person feels that they've missed an amazing opportunity with you. They feel that they hurt you so much that that's it. With the Two of Wands, what you don't know, Libra, is that this is somebody who couldn't make a decision between you and another person. With the Two of Pentacles, they were indeed juggling you with somebody else, with the energy of the Moon, possibly with a Pisces or a Cancerian. Yeah, they kept that hidden. Now, maybe, Libra, this is why they were so unpleasant when they messaged you. Because basically, they'd been found out. They didn't like the fact that you had figured out that they'd lied to you, that they deceived you. They were embarrassed. Goodness me. The hermit. Okay. So you could be connecting with a Virgo. The energy of the hermit may though be you, Libra. Pulling back, concentrating on you, not communicating with this person. Hmm. With the energy of the Emperor, this person could even have been married and weren't honest with you. Yeah, the lovers. Wow. Gemini energy, Aries energy. This is somebody who may have simply wanted a fling whilst they were in another situation. Seven of Pentacles. Now, I believe this is somebody looking at the past. I think they've been reviewing another relationship they were in, and I think they have decided to end that other situation. Yeah, the sun. I believe this is somebody, Libra, who is seriously thinking about returning to you, wanting to be with you. They could live at a distance. What is on this person's mind? Yeah, six of cups. They're thinking that they want to return to you to tell you what happened, maybe to be honest, Libra, that there was somebody else in the mix. This person could have been a Cancerian. Yeah. Or this denotes travel. Maybe they want to travel towards you to tell you the truth. What was the truth? Yeah. That this person simply was sitting in the energy of the devil, Capricorn energy. It was all lust and desire. This person just wanted a fling. Oh my goodness, Libra. And with the Queen of Cups, this could be the person that they are wanting to detach from. Could be a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. This is somebody who may have found out that they tried to pull you into an affair situation, Libra. Goodness me. High Priestess, Libra. 
With the energy of the High Priestess, you could have used your intuition that this person was not single. Or it could be that their partner sat in the energy of the High Priestess and they intuited that their person was coming on to you for an affair. All right. Justice. So, Libra, that is your energy. They could have intuited... Libra, that their man came on to you, but the justice card is also a legal contract. Yeah, I think this person was just about to walk away from a long term situation. I think they moved towards you, maybe because they wanted a little bit of light hearted fun. I think their partner found out that they were about to move into an affair situation with you and they pulled them back in. So they tried to patch up things with their partner, but the trust had already been broken because they had moved towards you. I think that connection is now over and done with. Yeah, yeah. Eight of Cups. This is someone who I think is walking away from their person. King of Wands. I believe, Libra, the King of Wands is this guy. All right? I think this guy is moving back towards you, taking action. Yeah. Because he wants a new cycle with you, Libra. We've got the Wheel of Fortune twice. This is somebody who's decided that they want to make amends, that they want to come back and explain, tell the truth and apologise. What is Libra's reaction to this? The Hierophant. I believe Libra, Hierophant twice, okay? Hierophant, Hierophant here. I believe, yes, it could very well be that this is a Taurus coming back. But you may question as to whether or not they are actually married. Yes, you said you left your other person. Are you still married? Are you going to get divorced? The death card. Yes. Are you going to end your marriage? What is on Libra's mind? Two of Cups. And does this person genuinely want to be with you because they're in love with you? Because this person seems to be very strategic. Three of Pentacles. This is rebuilding a foundation of a connection that's been broken. The Magician. Again, the Magician twice. Are they trying to manifest a third party situation again? Are they still, are they still married? but they're pretending that they've left their person or do they genuinely love you and want to build a connection with you? You're confused. What is this person going to say? Hangman, I'm sorry I took so long. This is somebody who sat not moving, not taking any action for the longest time. Okay, now we've got the tower. I think the divine blew up the stagnancy this person was sitting in because they wanted this person to return to you to apologise, to do the right thing. Or their partner called time on a relationship because they found out about you. Goodness me, airy Scorpio energy. Who brought in the tower? Okay, their person brought in the tower. Wow. So Libra... They jumped towards you, sat in their ego. You didn't play the game. So they sent you an unpleasant message and you blocked them. On top of that, I believe their empress that they may be married to, Empress Emperor the Hierophant, right, found out that they were messing around with you. And I think their empress called time on the relationship. Their empress could have said, that's it, we're divorcing. That's it, you're moving out. Whatever this was. And so this guy has lost you and their empress. I think they're coming back to you basically because they feel, well, if my relationship is over, I'm now single. 
or I will shortly be single, let's see if I can at least patch things up with Libra. But Libra, I don't know. Are you happy on your own? What is this person going to say to Libra? King of Pentacles. Yeah. So they're going to admit the truth. They're going to admit the fact that they were sat in the King of Pentacles. All right. And they'd be very worried, nervous about telling you the truth, Six of Swords. But they do want to move to calmer waters. What are they going to say to Libra? Five of Pentacles. I now, having gone through a difficult situation, I don't have a lot to offer you, which may signify, Libra, this person has already gone through divorce. But this is somebody who wants to make it work. What are they saying to Libra? Page of Pentacles, there's the apology, okay? This person may be also signing a document relating to money. It could be settlement with their past person. They want this to work, Libra, but I don't know. Has the trust gone? What are they gonna say to Libra? Yeah, they want a new relationship with you, Ace of Cups. But Libra, I think that you may turn your back. First of all, because this person wasn't honest. Second of all, I think you knew they were sat in a little bit of ego, okay? And when you weren't playing their game, when you weren't responding to their flirty message, they sent you an unpleasant message back. And that was after possibly ghosting you for several months. So I think you've had enough of this person. You may feel Libra in the nicest sense, they received their karma. They were found out by their long-term karmic partner that they tried to pull you into an affair. Their marriage or their long-term relationship has now ended. And it could have been because they were messing around with you. So Libra, I don't know what you're going to do. Let's see. What is Libra going to say? What is Libra going to say? Exactly that, Libra. I'm afraid you may say to this person, well... Thank you for coming back to express the truth to me, finally. Thank you for finally reaching out. And at long last, you're apologising for what you said to me. But I'm afraid because you sat in the Seven of Swords and you lied to me, you deceived me, you ghosted me, you were unpleasant to me, I don't want anything to do with you. <laughs> Libra, it's what I feel. I'm sorry, guys. It's not a happily ever after reading, but... Mm, Five of Swords, yeah. I mean, guys, Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, you deceived me, you ran off, you hurt me, you were really unpleasant. Okay, so what is Libra going to say? Seven of Wands, look at that. Libra, you are being defensive. I think what you're saying to this person is, I'm sorry, but it's way too little too late. Way too little too late. Five of Wands. They're not going to like it, Libra. But I think you're standing your ground, you're pushing them away and you're saying, I'm sorry, I deserve somebody that I can trust, somebody that's going to treat me well and somebody who isn't going to be deceptive. You don't trust this person, Libra. Hmm. Okay, guys, a difficult reading. Let's move into messages. Here we go. Silent Heart Love Oracle. Let's see what they want to say to you, Libra. What is this person? Yes, no, yes, okay. What does this person want to say to my beautiful Libras? Yeah, there we go. Please don't move on. They can't bear the fact that they've lost you, Libra. There we go. That's the shadow energy. I'm battling inner demons. This is somebody who still has not taken control of their shadow, okay? There we go. I run away to avoid facing my problems. This is somebody, Libra, who may be naturally one of these people that seems to get themselves into tricky situations and then basically escapes because they don't want to face karma. I think karma came down on this person. It was pretty drastic. It was pretty stressful. I think this is the divine. What else do they want to say to Libra? Oh, now that is incredible. I didn't mean what I said. Yeah, this is somebody who because 
you weren't playing their game, you didn't want to be used for a second time and you were angry it took them so long to come back to you, I think this is somebody who came out with something really unpleasant and it shocked you to the point where you blocked them. Yeah, so there's your apology. Okay, Libra. All right, guys. So, Andromeda Skies Love Oracle. Let's see what you would want to say to them, Libra, okay? Yeah, there we have it. Destiny is taking us down different paths. Now, Libra, that is a very mature, balanced response to them possibly coming back to you to say, I'm sorry for what I did. I was with somebody else. I'm sorry for what I said. You're very calmly saying to this person, I'm sorry, but I just feel we're on different paths. Yeah. What else are you saying to this person, Libra? Yeah. Fights, arguments, conflict. There was just too much drama this person brought into your life. Too much drama. Yeah, yeah, Libra, I've got to be honest. There we have it. This is the end. It's done for you. It's done for you. This person caused you nothing but stress, drama, upset and heartbreak. I think this is you saying thank you, but no thank you. All right. So Libra, a challenging reading, but that's what we have. I hope it's helped one or two of you take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye Libra.